Hello there. My name is Caroline and welcome to this week's Tall Ship Tuesday. Today we're continuing our celebration of Black History Month by taking a look at a true American hero, Aaron Anderson, the first African American recipient of America's highest military decoration, the Medal of Honor. Aaron Anderson was born in Arkansas in 1811, and he worked as a cook in Pennsylvania until he enlisted in the Navy at 52 years old. He joined the crew of the USS Wyandank, a steamer used as a barrack and supply ship for the Union forces during the Civil War, before joining the Potomac Flotilla. Nine days after the start of the Civil War, the Navy sent gunboats to patrol the Potomac River to investigate Confederate gun emplacements. On April 27, 1861, the vessels were authorized to become what was called the Potomac Flotilla. Their main goal was to blockade Confederate agents who were smuggling goods from the north to the south. They would also support Union land operations near the rivers. A month before the end of the Civil War, Aaron Anderson participated in a mission to attack a Confederate encampment in Maddox Creek, a tributary to the Potomac. A boat was loaded with a howitzer as Aaron and other black landsmen rowed the boat. Boatswain's mate, Patrick Mullen, manned the howitzer. The exposition was led by Ensign Summers. Seventy foot soldiers were sent to accompany the boat, following it along the shore. Coming under sporadic fire by Confederates, they came across four abandoned boats. As the foot soldiers set to work destroying the abandoned Confederate vessels, Anderson continued rowing the howitzer ship along the creek. Seeing three abandoned schooners on shore, Ensign Summers ordered Anderson and the other oarsmen to get closer. As Mullen readied to fire the howitzer, the ship came under fire from roughly 400 Confederate snipers. Anderson rowed the boat towards the soldiers, getting them close enough to burn the schooners with incendiary devices before retreating under heavy fire. As they retreated, the boat was pummeled with gunfire. Bullet holes were torn into the boat and many of the oars were destroyed. Anderson and the few oarsmen who still had oars continued to retreat downstream as they bailed others out of the water. They successfully escaped and despite how many bullets had rained down upon them, there was only one injury, a slightly wounded landsman. Ensign Summers singled out Anderson and Mullins for their actions during the skirmish, and both men received a Medal of Honor on June 22, 1865. Anderson's citation reads, Served on board the USS Wyandank during a boat expedition up Maddox Creek, March 17, 1865. Participating with a boat crew in the clearing of Maddox Creek, Landman Anderson carried out his duties courageously in the face of a devastating fire, which cut away half the oars, pierced the launch in many places, and cut the barrel off a musket being fired at the enemy. Due to a misspelling on his enlistment papers, the citation was actually awarded to him as Sanderson. He left the Navy after his term of service ended spending the rest of his life working odd jobs in Philadelphia. Thank you all for joining us today as we took the time to remember this American hero. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another one. We hope to see you next week for Tall Ship Tuesday. Bye.